ROE Graphics and Apparel showing you how to install a rear window perf. Say that five times fast. So when you get it in the mail, you'll get it in the tube protected like this. Uh, I might be banged up on the corners from transit and stuff. It's fine. We give a little bit of extra to protect it as much as possible. And then you will unwrap it and get ready to install it. So the things that you will need for this install are going to be Scissors, sharp, sharp, brand new blade, uh, a hard card or a card with a very smooth surface so that you do not scratch the ink off. I'm a little hunched over in the back of a truck bed right now, so I look a little awkward. And then, uh, of course, you want to make sure that your window has been cleaned prior, and then you want to use a water and soap mixture to make sure that there's no adhesive or anything there. Uh, you'll also notice there's a decal on the back of this. Usually you would remove that before installing. We're just going to install this one and take it right back off. It's just for demo purposes so I'm not removing the decal. And uh, we also chose a truck with a split window so that you can see how to cut and push the decal in over multiple windows instead of one solid window which is much easier. We will be using a hinge install method where we will peel back half of it and start to lay it down and then once that's in place we will peel back the other half and lay it down as well. You do need do not need to wet install this. It's naturally air channel release because it's perforated vinyl. So uh, it just goes on dry and you just take your time and move slowly so you don't crease it as you apply it. And that's really all there is to this. It's pretty simple. So we will get started right now. First we will just spray down the window really quick and wipe it down with a microfiber cloth to make sure that the dust and debris is gone. We're also doing this outside because more than likely most of our customers may or may not have access to a garage and we kind of want to put our installs in the same environment that our customers will have. Just to show you that it is possible, you don't need to be a pro uh, the way that we show you these things. It just takes patience and time. So start wiping down this window real quick and getting the, uh, the rear perf uh, put up. Now the perf that we chose, because this window is 20 by 65, we chose the 25 by 66 uh, size vinyl, and we will trim off the excess once it's been placed on. Okay, now we will take about three to four pieces of tape and get this thing hung up. Starters. Now unroll flag. I may add, it is recommended to have two people doing this, especially if it's your first time. It helps out a lot keeps it from falling on the ground, keeps it from getting dirty or creating enough tension in order to apply it properly. So, I only got one of me today. pretty nicely. Now I'm going to step back and make sure it's straight. A little low on the right. There we go. That is all set. So as you can see, I made sure that the design overhung the window so we have plenty to trim it's gonna fit on there nicely it goes below and a little bit above if you need these things scaled to a specific size give us our measurements we're happy to rescale it for you also be sure to put about two inches on top bottom left and right uh, included in your measurements that's why I like this one was a 64 from window to window so a 66 is perfect um, it was 20 instead of 25 
we can only squish the design so much before they start to look funny, especially the stars. We don't want them to be all squished up and look weird. So we just kind of place it in as best as we can within the uh, composition, basically. So now that we have that in there, we are going to start peeling off one side and laying it on. Now, because the window's trimmed, you do not cut the vinyl before. You do it as you go, basically. Um, and it will fit right in, especially since there's about a border that thick around all the windows. You have plenty of room for it to push in without it not being enough vinyl in that area. So that's I'll show you the trick to that in a little bit. So I'm going to start by peeling off the first side. Get your hard card ready and your scissors ready as well because you're going to have to cut off the excess. You're going to want to go back with it, flat along itself. Go slowly so you don't crease it. Back. Now this is low tack, so you can flip it over and stick it up on itself very lightly. It won't take away the ink or anything like that. Now that we've peeled back what we want to lay down, we're now going to take our scissors and we're going to cut off the excess and then pull it back over and lay it down. card or credit card or whatever you got that's smooth. I'm gonna pull it out making sure it doesn't stick to anything that we don't want it to. We create a little bit of tension and we're gonna work from the center out and slowly. Release this tape down here. window, we want to start, since this is a three-piece window, we want to start with this, the first side of the window. So we're going to push down right about here. Here's one window, here's the second window, and there's the third window. We're going to start here, and we're just going to come across, pressing down firmly, making sure it doesn't wrinkle, and tucking it in. Now that we have that, we're going to work our way from the center out, always the center out. Go slowly so you don't get any creases. The vinyl will tell you where it wants to go. So just watch it. That. On the bottom. It does stick, like I said, it is low tack. So you can Pull it off a little bit, gently. You don't want to stretch it. Then we're going center out. See, it almost wrinkled up on me, but I, because I was going slow, and it didn't. So I'm going to pull it off a little bit, lightly. Center out. Center out. Tuck it into the corner. 
lightly at this point. We don't need to cram it in too hard just yet. There's your one window. Now we're gonna do the now we're gonna do the other side. We're gonna do the third window, not the center window. We're leaving the center window for last. the masking tape now, we don't need it. We're going to pull it back and peel off the backing. As I mentioned, it is low tack, so the fact that it's sitting on the windows and stuff is fine. I just made a little point right here to make it stick up. So now we can just kind of lightly peel it off. There we go. And then we can apply the same method we did on the other side, center out. Be careful as to not wrinkle it. Just go slowly at a comfortable pace. There we have it. So windows one and two are in, or one and three are in for the most part. I mean, there's still more clean up, more pushing that we got to do into the edges and everything. So now we got to deal with this middle piece. So from the center out again, we're going to apply and push it in. You don't want to cram it into the corners yet because there's no release. There's a lot of tension in here. So you'll see there's a good inch or so where it's not going to really let you push. That's fine for now. We will get that tension back. Or well, we'll have it released shortly. So what we're going to do is we are going to cut down this outer edge of the trim, then release it because it is low tack and then tuck it in and it'll be like it never happened. There we go. That's simple. Now we take our very, very sharp blade, brand new. Uh, we get these blades because you can chop them off as you go. You don't need to replace the whole blade like you would with an X-Acto knife. These work great. They last a while. And then what we're going to do is we're going to lightly score down the edge as to not cut the window and not cut the trim or anything like that. So we're just going to lightly come in and trim it down. We're going to tuck it in with our card as best we can and then trim it. Tucked in, now we're going to trim it. We 
off the one that's trimmed a little bit off at the top and bottom so that we can get this flap that we need to do. So I'm going to zoom this in a little bit so we can see what I'm doing. Still stuck, just restore it. Just get it to release. Now that that's done, you just tuck it in. And then we will trim that off. repeat for the other side. So you can see it's now tucked in. It's released. This edge is nice and clean. Put back in. Those edges in. do it on the other side and I'll come back and show you how we uh, finally trim it. So it's all been trimmed up and tucked in and we're ready to go for the final trimmings. Now what we're going to do is we're going to want to take our hard card, our card, and we're going to want to press it up and as good as we can with minimal release between the seams. In order to do that, you might have to take it, it gets a little sticky so you have to back it off and then cram it out there with the corner of your card back it off the trim because it will stick to the trim and then just push it up and in so that it gets nice and tight up against that line so we're going to use that line to trim this especially around these corners you want to take your time so you don't stretch or pull or tear the vinyl there and then just Back it off the trim, tuck it into the glass, under the trim as best you can, all the way around. Getting rid of any bubbles or air. Just like that. Just lightly going through the seam. Lift it off the trim. I'll get in the corner. <clears throat> because if it sticks in the trim, it's not going to have the release that it needs to get down and in the trim. And that can cause it to lift out and your trim lines to be bad. So we don't want that. So this one window is tucked in really well. Then we're going to take our sharp blade again. I don't know where I put it, there it is. And then we're going to hop it in the, under the trim, slightly on the glass. Try not to run your blade across, across the ink. It will scratch it. Um, so we just go in there lightly. Follow our line. Try not to cut your trim. Try not to cut the glass. Good 45 degree angle. Slowly going. If you get to a difficult area, stop. And you can approach it from another angle. 
and then you can come in and maneuver around. Should just peel away. Like so. You take your card, push your edges back up and in. And then from the bottom, come from another angle. Don't be afraid to move on it and get into a good position. This is much easier because. Got a deep well. And then we can just push the vinyl back in. Sure, it's on there nice and good. And that's it. That's trimmed in nicely. And we basically just repeat for the whole thing until it all looks just like that. That's all there is to vinyl. Perforated vinyl installs.